morning of high. Today is Monday, October 8, 2018. I'm Lizzie Amica. And I'm Catherine Chinelli coming to you from WBC Studios with today's school news. The word of the day today is sedentary, an adjective meaning not migratory. Could you use that in a sentence, Catherine? I sure can, Lizzie Ann. Janet had a sedentary existence. She never left her home unless she had to. For lunch tomorrow, we'll be having PB&J, Southwest Chicken Baguette, Hamburger, Cheeseburger, and Salad Bar. And now for today's weather forecast. Rain chances are increasing as Tropical Storm Michael strengthens in the Gulf of Mexico. Today's weather forecast includes a high of 89 degrees and a low of 77 degrees with a 40% chance of rain. Have a great day, Bucks! Today in History In 1926, Babe Ruth sets World Series record. And in 1996, country superstars Faith Hill and Tim McGraw got married. And that's today's history. Here's some news books. Venom and Lady Gaga push movie ticket sales to an October record. Florida counties declare emergency as Tropical Storm Michael approaches. Here's the riddle of the day. Which part of a road do ghosts love to travel the most? Stay tuned to the end of the news for the answer. Homecoming tickets are now on sale until Friday, October 12th for $20 each. Please remember that you must have a completed permission slip in order to purchase your ticket. See Ms. Diaz or Ms. Jane for any questions. There will be a meeting after school this Thursday, October 11th, for anyone interested in girls basketball in room 234 at 2. Governor Rick Scott invites all Florida students to participate in the annual Hispanic Heritage Month Art and Essay Contest. Students in grades 4 to 12 can earn a four-year Florida prepaid scholarship through the essay contest. All entries must be received no later than 5 p.m. on Monday, October 15th to learn more about Florida's Hispanic Heritage Month celebration and contest visit www.floridahispanicheritage.com. So what part of the road do ghosts love to travel the most? The dead end. For more information, please refer to the scroller. That's all for our news. Have, Have a, a great, great Columbus, Columbus Day, Golf High. Bye. One million people expected out here as the parade gets underway. It is the largest celebration of Italian American culture in the world. And as you can see behind us, they have the barricades set in place for those crowds expected to get underway here at 1130 this morning. So expect to see a red, white, and green here on Fifth Avenue. It starts on 47th Street, heads up Fifth Avenue, ending at 72nd Street. Now, this year's theme is education cornerstone of the Italian American experience. Experience. This event is organized every year by the Columbus Citizens Foundation and helps create opportunities for young Italian Americans through scholarships. Last year, the parade fell during a time where there was a lot of controversy surrounding the statue of Columbus in Columbus Circle and whether or not it should remain there because of Columbus's treatment of Native Americans. This year, though, the attention focused on the festivities, which again gets underway at 1130, wraps up at 3 o'clock this afternoon. For now, that's the latest live from Midtown, Janelle Burrell, CBS 2 News.